When it comes to graffiti art, there's one man who's created a niche for himself and crafted a distinguished career, Bejin Fujita, a Los Angeles artist. He has been recognized nationally and internationally for his murals and museum installments. And he's created his own unique brand by fusing ideas and images from the East and West. And in doing so, he's been able to also express his LA and Japanese roots. We are so delighted to have him in studio. I'm so excited to be talking to you today. Gajin Fujita, welcome. Thank How are you. you today? Thank you. I'm doing good. What's been so unique about your artwork, you've used the ukiyo-e, yes. um, the style, I would say, right? Which is a Japanese style. And you fuse that kind of with Western urban imagery. Tell, me, tell us a little bit about what this style entails and how you are using it for your art. Well, so ukiyo-e is uh, a woodblock prints from Japan. My mom, actually my parents were first to introduce it to me and my brothers and um, I felt that that was uh, when I first saw it it was so vivid and so saturated and rich with color it, it blew my mind To date, I think one of your most complicated paintings is Invincible Kings of this Mad Mad World, uh, <laughs> which took five months to make. Five, six months. Five, yes. six months, and it's um, eight by 16 feet. So what was the inspiration behind that, and why did you want to share that message with people? My inspiration came from actually uh, tattoos that the Yakuza's in Japan, the old Yakuza's in Japan would wear. They would have their whole back covered with um, the, ch the Chinese line ta in tandem with the peony flowers to symbolize strength, protection, and that was the thing that inspired me for this painting. How do you think the perception of graffiti art has changed in Los Angeles? There's been um, some huge uh, graffiti street art shows, uh, one that happened here at MOCA in 2011. Um, and those, I think, those shows must have impacted a great deal on the views and perception of graffiti, I, be I believe. I'm glad that there's this huge trend in popularity of street art. What would you do? One of the greatest pieces that can now be shared with people in their pockets is the library card. But for me, I understand that this isn't just art for you because you actually have a special connection to the LA Public Library. So it extends beyond just creating the image that you recently did. Yeah, I used to frequent the library, my local library in Boyle Heights, uh, the Robert Louis Stevenson Library. You know, I, I feel uh, very privileged and honored that my image was uh, chosen to go in the face of the LA Library Card. This has been so much fun just learning about oh. your work, your inspiration, Thanks and how you're inspiring people. So thank you again.